Hey everyone, we're the others, and we are making a game. So I'm Benjamin Price, I'm the producer. Across from me directly is Cairo. She is one of the programmers and designers specializing on the sound design. Next to her is Erin. Uh, she is one of the 2D artists who will be helping us with our assets. Next to her is Tanya. Tanya is also a programmer and a designer focusing on general gameplay mechanics. Next to her is Tamiya. Tania is also a programmer and designer. She is focusing on what we call the rooms, which we'll be getting to in a second. Next to her is Sun. He is a programmer and designer as well, focusing on the 2D or the turn-based combat. And next to him is Hadar. He is focusing on the 3D modeling assets. So the game is going to be a single-player game. It's going to be a 2.5D side-scrolling game where the player can move back and forth and everything. And it's going to have a kind of spooky, horror, cutesy theme, and it's focused on adventure. Okay, so basically you're waking up in a dark place, you don't know where you're at, and then you don't know your identity or anything. And you see like the clocks are backwards, but you're like, what is going on? And you realize you're in this time loop. Well, yeah, like, you just find yourself the house just has a dark energy and it's your mission to, you know, get out and, you know, the one thing to get out is to break the time loop and free your soul and everyone else's soul to that chapter. Oh yeah, so there are three clues, you know, putting like, that was, hit the history of the house and like what happened, uh, you know, beyond, like before that caused, you know, the potential curse. And also, like, what can we do for, you know, we need for it because we have time to, uh, to get out, and, yeah. Oh, and this is the art. Uh, this is made by Edward. He's not here right now. He didn't make me. Uh, this is made by Aaron. Yeah, this is by one of the enemies. <laughs> and that, our main character, Doe, right, like, you know, because it has my name, like, John Doe, Jane Doe. Uh, that's made by Hadar. Our, Artist. 3D artist. Yes, 3D artist. And this is our hallway, also made by Hadar. Really nice. So the game is going to have three of these, three floors of the mansion, and the way the hallways are going to work is it's going to be three doors to each hallway, and some enemies like that mushroom are going to be patrolling back and forth in the hallway. So it's the player's goal to avoid them and try to start combat on their own terms when they can get a benefit out of it. And that combat is going to be turn-based, but most of all, we're focusing on kind of a good ambient environment and very cool detail like we saw in the model by Hadar. The rooms are going to be where the meat of the game and the choices really happen. The rooms are going to have NPCs or objects that the player interacts with, and he's going to make, or she or they are going to make interactions with those objects and make choices. They're either going to say there's someone in the room who's crying, you can try ask them if they want help, or you can be scared of them and try to attack them right away. Those kinds of choices are going to be the main uh, agency the player has in the game. And from the result of those, they're going to get items or benefits that help them piece together their past, unlock new abilities, and progress further in the mansion. The turn-based combat is going to be a system very similar to Yahtzee or Dice Throne, if you guys have ever played Dice Throne. Uh, the player is going to have four to six resources that they kind of get randomized each turn, and they can choose to re-roll some of those resources and use them on abilities. So, there might be four elements of a resource, and one of the elements might be something like uh, fire and wind. So one ability might be two wind and one fire, whereas another one might be three of one of the same kind and two of a different kind to give the player some choice and randomness in the combat. And so this is what we have for the game so far. It's not nearly as impressive as uh, Pickle Brain was, but uh, so we've got side scrolling moving. We have things like this NPC object that when we go over to them, that's going to be like a question mark to initiate some dialogue with them. And they're going to navigate through the dialogue. Then they're going to have enemies to try to avoid. And the doors you go into trigger and in, you enter inside a room where there's going to be something to interact with like this. And upon entering combat, you go to another scene where this is going to be where the turn-based combat will happen once we have that fully programmed. Thank you.